Hello, my name is Kieran Pedley, Director of Politics at Ipsos, and I'm here to take you through the latest political monitor numbers for the Evening Standard. Our numbers today show the Labour Party 20 points ahead of the Conservatives, and that hasn't changed a great deal throughout the year. But what's interesting about our findings today is if you looked at the Labour Party's numbers and the numbers for Keir Starmer in isolation, you might be a little bit surprised to see Labour so far ahead. For example, with Keir Starmer, 51% of the public are dissatisfied with the job he's doing as Labour leader and 29% are satisfied. So that gives him a net score of minus 21. Not dissimilar to Ed Miliband's score of minus 19 before he went on to lose the 2015 general election. If we compare further to Ed Miliband's Labour Party, we see that fewer Britons think that Labour understands the problems facing the country now as they did today. But yet Labour is 20 points ahead today, whereas they lost that election. So what's going on? Well, it might not surprise you to know that Keir Starmer is facing a very different Conservative Party to that which Ed Miliband faced back then. Today, 69% disagree that the Conservative Party is competent, whereas under David Cameron, 56% thought the government was doing a good job. So clearly, Labour are facing a very different Conservative Party today, a much more unpopular Conservative Party today, than they did back then. So is Labour winning by default? Well, perhaps that's a little bit unfair. One of the successes that Keir Starmer has had under his leadership of the Labour Party is to detoxify the Labour Party brand so that people are prepared to give the party a second hearing on key issues such as the economy and public services. The public might be divided today on whether Labour is ready for government, but under Ed Miliband, a majority disagreed that they were ready. And whilst David Cameron led Ed Miliband by 20 points on who would make the most capable Prime Minister, today Keir Starmer leads Rishi Sunak by four. Can the Conservatives turn it round in the next year or so? Well, the chances for them look bleak. Rishi Sunak and the Conservatives will hope to turn things around by showing proper progress on Rishi Sunak's five pledges between now and then. But time is running out for the Prime Minister and his party to make a difference.